Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Scrap Mechanic with me, Lathrix. And of course, welcome back to our glorious little world that was recently created for the first impressions. Now, I've just posted that video, and it seems like a lot of people want to see this as a permanent series, and as such, and since I'm very curious about this game, I am very happy to oblige. Now, currently, we are in the creative mode, with the survival mode being added to the game sometime soon. So for now, I will consider this a mini-series in which we go ahead and build all we can in preparation for the actual survival mode. Let's get some practice in and see just what we can create. I mean, currently we have our little off-road vehicle here, which is doing fantastically, but we need some more stuff, and it's time to try out things like the switches, the thrusters, and perhaps build a wheelless vehicle. In fact, today we are going to try and build a thruster sled, because I want a rocket sled of some kind, because I think it would just be a lot of fun. Now, one issue I have run into is that the physics in this game are actually pretty good, however, the friction is nightmarish sometimes. It can just hit you out of nowhere, and suddenly your vehicle has stopped. It's like you hit a rock if your friction is a bit too high in a certain location. So we need to be very, very careful whilst we're building, and in fact, we might end up using wheels. But if we use wheels today, I will consider this a failure. Today's attempt is to build a wheelless rocket sled. That is the big goal and what I'm aiming to do. So, let's just get right into it. Now, I will say, though, this is going to be our permanent location, our new home, in fact. I've been driving around a little bit, trying to get used to all of the controls on our lovely off-road vehicle here, and this just seems like the perfect place. We can view all the area, the flat land is just over there and just over there, so if we need somewhere completely flat near the border, we can just go there, and there's even a small circle of track just after this meadow here. I think it's just there. I think that actually might be the track. And it's literally a circle with hills and obstacles. It's the ultimate training ground, honestly. The ultimate training area. So that is where we will test all of our things. So for now, though, let's get building. Our seat has been placed. We're almost there already. In fact, let's build that a little bit further forward so it's actually on the platform. So how are we going to do this? How I think we're going to do this is for a start, we're going to use thrusters, we're going to have two thrusters on the back here to give this back section a little bit of lift, and then all of the controls are going to go on the front. And we're going to use, of course, these, our bearings, to cause some thrusters to spin left and right, like we had on the car, but much further ahead. Something like the more traditional kind of pod racer feel, which a lot of these builds end up looking like. So, let's do that. Now, how far do I want this forward? And how far do I want it spaced out from each other? I think we'll attach it like this. Come on. There we are, and do the same on the top. Now, we need something light. Something which counts as lightweight to move from here all the way to the front. Table supports are light. Even if they are table supports. Signs are also lightweight. That could be somewhat useful. Ah, we need to add the duck. That is a very important thing. The duck must be added. What else is there? Tall shelf support. That also fits the bill. Now, we will need that rock lighter, though. So let's keep that. Let's keep the concrete rock, just in case. We'll replace the seat for now. Let's get to work. So let's put these down so we can see just how far forward we're going to go. I don't want it too far forward. I don't want this thing to be too big, because otherwise it might end up stranded if we hit a hill too steep, and it ends up getting stuck on the beams themselves. So how about that far? The pipes will go that far, and then the actual creation will attach to these. Seems somewhat reasonable to me. Okay. So next, then, we use this. Not too big. We don't need it to be too big. And then we add some other stuff. Now, this goes forward by three. And this, the same again. So we've got the nice little platform. Hmm, perhaps I can a bit bigger. 
If we make it three wide, we could have an a true middle, which might be better for this. No, I think going on the outside would be good as well. So, there's actually something I want to find out right now. So this has a finite turning circle, and it also has a finite speed on how fast it can turn. What if we add a bearing to the bearing? So the bearing turns when the other bearing turns. So, in theory, that should turn further and faster. Right? Well, we'll find out soon. Oh, there's no middle to this. That'd have been great for this. How about you? That seems reasonable. No. Okay, then we'll do this by three. And that is where the thrusters will attach. There and there. There and there. So that way we have the turning and the forward thrust sorted. At least in theory. It all depends on how the friction in this game will actually handle, to be honest. And before we do anything else, what we should do is make some skis on the bottom. I'm not sure how effective these will be. Once again, I haven't really tested out the game enough yet to see how things work. But, if the physics work how I want them to work, these will be a good idea. Make this one a little bit longer than the back one. And then just for a bit of a finishing touch. We have not put that on correctly. Oh, I wish there was a mirror mode. I'm going to make so many symmetry errors during this series. I can just feel it already. If I make symmetry errors in reassembly, it's definitely going to happen here in a more 3D environment. Like that. That looks somewhat reasonable. Now, the most important part, we need our duck stand. Which will go here. Excellent. Ooh, what have I missed? I have missed one of the attachments, haven't I? Yep, I have missed that attachment which is causing that to spin around wildly. However, we just found out that if you don't attach that to the seat, it actually is very loose. So perhaps we can make like a... I don't know, a weapon of some kind in the future? Yeah, the friction is not happy with this in the slightest. Okay, that's not working. The turning seems almost okay, but yeah, that's not working at all. So, first attempt, not the best. How do we fix this? With more thrust, of course. But some other stuff as well. More thrust just helps. Now, one issue we are going to run into if we keep on doing this is that this thing is going to suddenly catapult into the air the moment we hit a rock, if we add too much thrust on the back and such. So we're going to need some way to actually anchor this to the ground. And that is where I think the switch is going to come in. Originally, I was going to use the button until I figured out how the switch works. We can actually keep something on or off, so perhaps an anchor piece, a thruster pointing down on the front or the back. Yeah, that's not going anywhere fast. Oh, it gets stuck so easily. There is no sliding block, is there? I doubt there's such thing as a sliding block. It would be awesome if there was, but I don't think there is. So, two possible theories currently. One, keep adding thrust. Two, make sure the front isn't... Actually, what about if we make sure the front isn't pointing down at all in terms of the thrust, and add a couple of under-the-mass thrusters here? So these should be under the centre of mass, at least. I think, if that would be the centre of mass. I don't know. I don't think there's a way to show centre of mass in this game. There very well may be, and if there is, I'll find out afterwards. It's like it wants to, but no. Oh! Whoa! Whoa! Okay, okay, we're gone! We're going! And that's why we need an anchor. Fly, my pretty! Hmm. Once it gets going, it's okay. That's almost controllable. But yeah, definitely need an anchor segment. So what about... If... We do this. Is 
at there shouldn't interrupt the turning, at least I hope not. Then we add a couple of switches here. And one of them attaches to this, and then attaches to the seat, because I've actually been looking at the manual in the game now. So now one should do this. And keep it anchored, yes? Yes! Oh, the friction still hits us like a rock. But, oh wow, this is actually almost working. That is so close to being done. I am surprised that has took so little time. But we're almost there already. Oh, if this is going to be my second vehicle, I'm going to be so happy if we get this working. I was fully expecting this episode to end with, and we failed. But, it really does seem like once you're actually moving, the friction is far more friendly. However, yeah, that's not quite strong enough to keep us down. Or is it? Turn right, thank you. Turn left, there's the circle of the track. Oh, hello circle of track, how are you? Don't mind me, I'm just trying to turn. Hello tree. Turn off the front for a second, just so we get airborne. Maybe that's what we need, a thrust that we can turn on to actually lift us up a little bit, just at the start. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's not attached to the ground at all. But still, really happy. We've made a lot of progress here. I'm going to go ahead now and just work a lot and see if we can get this thing actually functioning. The testing is going well. Well, after a lot of testing, some really weird things being found out about this game, and countless iterations of this craft, I think it's finally time to test this thing once again on the circuit. So let's get back there and see, can we do just one lap? I am somewhat hopeful this thing will be absolutely fine there, but am I certain about that? Not really. Well, we got here in one piece, so let's see if we can actually make it around then. So before we start, I would just like to say a few things. First of all, we do indeed now have three downwards facing thrusters, because this game does not like you taking any air and then hitting the floor. If you're in the air, then you hit the floor, there is a very high chance that part of this bot will simply get wedged into the ground. I've tried to fix this as much as possible, for instance, adding a full wooden panel along the bottom so it isn't quite as spiky, and then I tried to round off the edges but that didn't really help. It's just a matter of the game doesn't really like anything which isn't meant to touch the ground touching the ground, and apparently these blocks are not meant to touch the ground, so that can cause some serious issues if you get any real airtime. You can literally get stuck into the ground which isn't very pleasant. The second thing is I now have the turning thrusters on a separate form of control, meaning that we can actually turn and turn the main thrust off, so we don't have to be going at full speed to actually turn. So let's get into a better position to actually start off. I think that tree there would be a good starting point. There we are. So if we can do one lap around this tree, I will consider this a success. Okay, thrusters off to actually get started, and go. Really hoping this works now. It works everywhere, everywhere, everywhere else, apparently speaking, is difficult. But this circle is a really hard circuit, so... Can we just make it round once, please? Okay, a little slower. Slower again, we could very easily get stuck if we go too fast around that corner. Definitely better than my first attempt, at least, or the attempts that end up in the air. Okay, I've got stuck here several times, so slowing down. Let's go around the edge of it. There we are. Admittedly, we did kind of skirt that area a bit, but I'm okay with that. And one full circuit is complete. Yes, indeed, we now have a working thruster sled. Or rocket sled. I think rocket sled sounds better. Either way, 
It is the Scrap Speeder, and that will be its final name. So let's just get back to our mountain, and then this is a true success. I will not go over that cornfield, though, because that cornfield is terrible. I am very proud of myself right now. I thought this would be a really simple build, but honestly, it was very difficult for me. I'm not sure if it's just how I was building at the start, because I had a whole load of issues with how I thought it should work, when actually it simply didn't work like that, or it's just this game isn't very good with its friction just yet. No, no, that's not true. It's not very good for this type of bot, I should say. It's not that it's bad with its friction, the friction is fine. But we made it here with no issue whatsoever, so once again, this is a success. We have a rocket sled. And so with that, I'm afraid though I have run out of time for today's episode. I am having a lot of fun with this series so far, and I hope you're enjoying it as well. If you are, then of course, likes, favourite, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Scrap Mechanic is a series you wish to see continued in the future. Now off camera between episodes, since I'm going to take a break now, I'm going to try and make both of these vehicles a lot prettier and then they will be my permanent vehicles. Although I still prefer our little off-road car uh, buggy thing, possibly because it's my first ever build, I do have a lot of respect for my little rocket sled, my scrap speeder. Next time, I think we should build our first building. Hopefully with opening doors and maybe even some form of rocket propelled movement system in the form of a ski lift. I really want to see if you can make a ski lift in this game, as it's an idea I think should work, because if you build separately like this, physics do actually apply. So if I destroy this, that falls to the floor. So the, the idea is, or at least the concept is, we make something like this, then we build upwards a little bit, just like this for a second. And then this goes down, doesn't really matter too much about us being accurate here. Then we break that, and with this being much higher, that then rests on the top, and you add thrusters to a control, you sit in a basket, and you can go flying ahead, so possibly connecting one of the mountains to the other, or something like that. Not quite sure if we could build quite that far, but we'll see somewhere to build. Either way, there's a load of ideas currently going through my head. This game is fantastic. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you next time. Any suggestions for builds in the future as well, feel free to leave in the comments. Longest outro ever.